America also provided rich pickings for the musical chameleon from Brixton, David Bowie. Soul music was already half forgotten there in the mid-70s, but with the Young Americans album, Bowie created his own soul mythology. This foray into soul was, I think, was immensely successful because he chose uh, some really accomplished American musicians to do it. Time, giving it, giving it. He managed to, to forge his own identity within a soul medium. So it still came out sounding like David Bowie, not too derivative but just having that influence, he had people like Sanborn on it right. and uh, the young Luther Vandross doing backing vocals. Give me, give me, yeah, give me, do it. As a kid, I was obsessed with Bowie. You know, I had A-level Bowie. It's the only thing I passed at school. And to this day, I know every single lyric of every song he's ever written. I forget my own. Get to when you're down. Bowie had a knack of kind of finding the right people to work with at the right time. I mean, he's very clever like that. And I think that album is a seminal album. He endorsed black American artists by going to America and cutting that seminal album of his in America. I mean, Young Americans is an unbelievable album of soul, musicianship, and style. And it was done by an Englishman called David Bowie, a white soul singer, in my opinion. I'm only dancing. She turns me on. Don't get me wrong. It was David Bowie. It was Young Americans. And it was clearly a white bloke trying to sound like a black bloke and it was a revelation and it was kind of a portent of lots of very strange things to come I honestly think that you can date punk back to David Bowie doing Young American 